हेलो ऑल वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज अ पार्ट टू ऑफ योर एप्लीकेशन गेटवे वे इंग्रेस कंट्रोलर वे आर आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन हाउ वी कैन यूज इज इंग्रेस कंट्रोलर एड ऑन फॉर ग्रीन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट डिप्लॉयमेंट सो इन पार्ट वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट इज ग्रीन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट एंड वॉट इज ब्राउन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट सो इन ग्रीन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट बेसिकली वी डोंट हैव एनी एग्जिस्टिंग रिसोर्सिस वी आर क्रिएटिंग द रिसोर्सिस फ्रॉम स्क्रैच दिस इज दिस प्रोसेस कॉल अ ग्रीन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट एंड इन अ ब्राउन फील्ड डिप्लॉयमेंट बेसिकली वी हैव ऑलरेडी अ एग्जिस्टिंग रिसोर्सिस लाइक ए के एस और एप्लीकेशन गेट वे एंड देन वी आर इनेबलिंग द एड ऑन एंड वी आर इंटीग्रेटिंग एप्लीकेशन गेट वे एंड ए के विथ ए के एस एंड वी आर एक्सिंग अवर एप्लीकेशन थ्रो एप्लीकेशन गेट वे so that is called a brownfield deployment so in this particular video i am going to talk about greenfield deployment only and in a part 3 we will see how we can use a brownfield deployment uh, for uh, application gateway ingress controller so let's quickly move to azure portal so i am on my azure portal so the first thing what i have to do i have to create a resource group so i'll quickly create a resource group i'll put it the name as a demo and location i'll choose a central india as my location and i hit review and create after resource group has been created now we have to create a aks cluster so i'll go to kubernetes services so you can see there are few options now we are getting a uh, i'll discuss like in a separate video about all these things we are just going to create a, a kubernetes cluster and we are going to see how we enable ingress controller add on uh, for application gateway so here this is my subscription pay as you go resource group i'll choose my resource group as demo and uh, pre uh, preset configuration i'm using dev test because uh, this is just for a demo purpose i'll put a demo cluster name is demo aks and rest all the fields i will uh, leave blank only so now you can see here we are getting uh, when creating a node pool we are getting a warning uh, the limit is uh, like exhaust so we have to change the code size so i'll just quickly change the configuration here Uh, i'll put it here minimum count 1 and maximum count 2 this is not a recommended ideally you should have 2 to 5 uh, node pool but for this is for a demo purpose so i'm choosing 1 and 2 and uh, the node size also i am changing here so i'll have a sufficient number of virtual cpus now rest all the things i i leave a default So now you can see the warning or the error which we are getting that is gone. Now in the networking section, you have to keep in mind uh, if you are using Azure CNI overlay, then you you will not get the option of ingress controller add-on. That option is only applicable for Azure CNI node subnet or kubenet networking model. So this this you have to keep in mind while you are creating a AKS cluster. so i don't want any uh, private cluster so and network policy i'll also keep none and integration port also i will leave i don't want any acr because uh, for a demo application i'm going to directly directly run the ml file and monitoring also we don't want so i'll just remove uh, prometheus here and alert rule as well and here rest all the fields i will leave a uh, blank and i hit review and create so now aks cluster validation is in progress once validation is successful we will hit on create button now the aks cluster uh, deployment is going on so it will take couple of minutes mean that that uh, like in between uh, i'll pause the video once uh, deployment is completed i'll uh, resume back now our aks deployment is completed so i'll go to resources so now we need to check uh, first let me check if do we have any existing application gateway uh, or not so i'll go to application gateway 
so you can see we don't have any application gateway here so now what we will do we will enable the ingress controller add-on from the AKS cluster so for that you have to go to settings and you have to go to networking and under networking section you will see an option called virtual network integration and here you can see the application gateway ingress controller that we have to enable as soon as we enable this options and we save it AKS will automatically create an application gateway for us but keep in mind you cannot use this application gateway which is created by AKS for other purpose or other resources that will be only use for this particular AKS cluster only so let me go to manage I'll click on manage sorry uh, tick box ingress controller and I'll click on save so now again we can see the deployment is progress in uh, in background and it will take again take couple of minutes so mean that time I'll pause the video and once it's completed I'll resume back so now uh, Kubernetes uh, application gateway ingress control resources is completed you can see the application gateway name is ingress hyphen app gateway let's quickly verify I'll just refresh this page you can see the name of uh, ingress controller application gateways ingress hyphen app gateway which is created from here from AKS directly now if I go back here I let me open this so you can see the status here updating so because when you create an application gateway it will take some time so meantime what we will do until the status is updating we will connect to the AKS cluster from our local machine so I'll quickly go to connect option here and I'll use Azure CLI here so the first thing you can do log into your Azure account so I'll simply copy the command and I'll go to my Visual Studio code and I'll open a terminal here So you have logged into Microsoft Azure. Let me go back to my terminal. So it means we get our subscription details, tenant ID and, and all these things. So it means we are connected to the Azure. Now let me clear the screen. Now the next command which we have to run here. We have to download the credential which will be used to connect to this particular AKS cluster this is the public AKS cluster that's why I am directly able to use these credentials to connect otherwise if you are using a private AKS cluster then you have to use uh, some kind of uh, Azure Bastion or virtual machine which is a part of that particular virtual network or a peered virtual network then only you can access AKS in case of private so let me quickly download the crystal credentials from here so now I will learn qctl get pods sorry a pod so no resources found in default namespace if I'll uh, put it here hyphen capital A then it will list out all the okay so there is some issues let me read re the command qctl get pods hyphen A So it's seeing error from a server not found okay so I was putting a space uh, hyphen a so you can see these are all the pods running as part of my namespaces like you can see all the pods are as part of Q, uh, Q hyphen system namespace so you can see here uh, the ingress hyphen app gateway this is the pod which is created when we have uh, enabled application gateway ingress controller so let me quickly copy it and I'll just clear the screen and we will see the logs okay I think
think we have to specify uh, namespace also q python system so you can see here uh, there are not, not major logs we can see here so what i will do now i will uh, run my ml file let me quickly explain you this particular ml file this is a very simple ml file which i have written so this is the deployment which we are creating here and we are you we have using the basic aks image here and this is the cluster or uh, the service which we are using and this is the ingress part which we are uh, creating ingress controller or ingress resources so these three parts we have uh, on this particular ml file so let me run this particular ml file so let me quickly clear the screen qctl apply hyphen f and aks so it's created a three ports it's created a deployment services and ingress controller let me quickly move up so if I learn kubectl get ports so now you can see these two ports with the name we have defined here aks uh, hyphen simple app this is the name we have uh, defined so with the name with this particular name it's created a two ports because we have defined here replicas two if we define here three then it will create a three port for us so the status is creating let me rerun it so now these ports are running now we cannot access these ports if we have to access we have to go through the azure application gateway ingress controller so if i open my browser let me refresh it now you can see the status is uh, completed the updating which we are getting here i'll just quickly copy the public ip address and let me run it you can see the welcome to azure kubernetes services now in background what happened basically as we as you know we have discussed uh, when we use azure application gateway ingress controller then the application gateway ingress controller directly communicate to the pod through application gateway but if we are using nginx as a uh, ingress controller in cluster ingress controller then we have to go through multiple services and resources that's what i want to just show you if i'll uh, go back to my terminal let me clear the screen if i'll again re check the logs of my kubernetes sorry ingress app gateway uh, pod now we can see there are a lot of data we are seeing here so the main part which i want to which we are interested uh, that is something uh, backend pool and all so now here you can see this part these are the ip addresses of our pod which is created so if we have to just verify you can see uh, 10.2240.48 and let me quickly verify the pod ips as well so i'll go back to my cluster uh, let me go to node pools if i'll go to nodes here now will i go to pods you can see the port uh, pod ip is 224.0.40 if i'll just quickly go back to my here 224.0.40 so what happened whatever the uh, con pod app configurations we have applied on aks then a from the ingress controller basically uh, capturing all the data from the api server and directly applying to the azure resource manager and from there we are going we are uh, it's applying to the application gateway so there is no uh, indirect communication between a pod to application gateway so all the traffic is going through directly from app gateway to pod in case if we are create deleting it or updating it in that case again it will go through the some kind of resources so in that case 
what we have discussed in part one the latency or the performance of our application will be high if we are using application gateway ingress controller so you can see a lot of things backend addresses and uh, backend HTTP settings controller front end so all these things front end ports and listeners gateway all these things we are coming from the we are getting from the application gateway ingress controller port which is the mediator and if I quickly go back here uh, ingress controller application gateway if I go to settings uh, let me go to backend pools so you can see this is a backend pool which is created and we are getting this similar IP so all this configuration in a background is uh, fetching via the ingress controller pod from the API server and it's applying to the uh, Azure resource manager and we are able to access our application with the help of public IP address or if you have domain name uh, of application gateway so this is the public IP address of uh, application gateway ingress controller so that's how basically greenfield deployment work so here what we did we created an application uh, gateway uh, sorry a, a, uh, AKS from the scratch and we don't have any application gateway we have enabled the add-on and from AKS itself it directly created the application gateway for us now in brownfield what will happen in brownfield we have to create uh, we should have uh, already existing AKS and application gateway and somehow we have to uh, do the in integration between them then we can access the application from the public IP or a domain name of application gateway. So that's all for today. See you Nick next video. Hopefully the part three will be on brownfield, how to do a brownfield deployment. So that's all for today. See you next video. Thank you so much.